what's up guys welcome once again to another video um i'm heading over once again to jamaica so guys bear with me i know a lot of you um are not jamaican so you have no idea of some of the things that i'm talking about or whatever but that's how we all learn right so just bear with me and sit back and listen all right um first of all let me let, let me thank you guys for, as usual for tuning in right and um you know tell you how appreciative i am you know for you guys to take time out to to tune in once again to another video all right um so this 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 is a bizarre case guys a rather bizarre and strange case in a lot of in a lot of ways right Okay, so that that young man that you were looking at on on the screen, you know, he's a famous music reggae reggae music producer from Jamaica, right? His name is Linval Shabdan, as he's um, affectionately called. So Linval Shabdan Thompson, right? So this man, you know, the case has just wrapped up. Um. This, this, where, where, where should I start now? Okay, so this man was, was, um, you know, found, stopped by the police in, in an here, you know, for those of you who don't know, Old Arbor, Old Arbor here in St. Catherine. So he was pulled over by the police and, um, he and another gentleman was traveling together and, um, you know, the police, um, this, they, they found a, a firearm in the car all right so this happened like i think sometime in last year i don't remember exact time but sometime in last year this happened so this is the this is this is a strange thing now guys so this gun was reported stolen from the atlanta police department right so you know you know the jamaican police they work in conjunction with the with the united states um police right so you know they found this gun and you know they were making checks and all of that and it was reported stolen from 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 the atlanta police department so my question is now who stole that gun from the police atlanta police department and how did it reach jamaica right i'm sure the gun didn't book a flight and and and, and decide to go down to jamaica right okay um so the gun was identified as being the property of the atlanta police department and had been reported stolen in 2018 so it goes back as far as 2018 when this gun was stolen now people this man shabdan there has always been allegations that he's a he, he is a violence producer a member of a well-known gang called G-City, you know, which he has denied. And, you know, he has a right to deny until he's proven otherwise, right? He's also been accused on numerous occasions, um, you know, by a lot of bloggers, a lot of people on, in, on the internet, you know, has accused him of being one of the person, persons behind the ongoing war in the inner city communities. In, in in some inner city communities in Montego Bay, St. James, right? But anyway, guys, listen listen this. Um, the producer was reportedly pulled over by police in the Old Arbor area of St. Catherine. He and another man, he, he and another man named Romario Scott was traveling together, and the gun found. Now fast forward to now where the man Shabdan was freed of all charges. So the case has been going on since then and up to now. He was released. He was freed of all charges a, a few weeks ago. So the, 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 his co-accused, um, who is Romario Scott, took responsibility for the gun, for the gun and ammunition. So Romario was sentenced to s six years for a position of firearm and four years for the ammunition so in so in all he will be serving 10 years 
for 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 both um, the firearm and the ammunition possession, right? So reports are that Chabdan still has some pending charges hanging over his head. You know that is for breaches of the Corruption Prevention Act in rela in relation to allegations of bribery. Right, <laughs> so it is reported that that he, Shabdan, offered a, a policeman two million dollars, guys, two million dollars to remove the firearm from the vehicle before it was searched by another police. Right, so the vehicle was seized after they found the 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 the, the firearm in the in the um in the car. Right, they were locked up, and the car seized. So he offered the policeman two million dollars to remove the gun. So you know, no other when and it, when other police go into search, they don't find it, right? So you know, this 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 is such a bizarre case. Cause, but guy, wouldn't you like to know what um who stole the gun from Atlanta Police Department, and how it really got to Jamaica? You know, that is something I would really, really, really love to know. You know, the other thing, and not just that, um, was that gun, was that gun involved in any, any crime in Atlanta, right? Or, or, or was it a police gun? I'm not, I'm not clear on that because, um, in an article they said it was the property of Atlanta police department. So I'm not sure if it was, if what if it was in Olden or if or if it was a was really a, a police gun, you know. And and guys, you know the the strangest thing about this this now, um, this is not the first time I'm hearing of of, of firearms being, you know, missing went missing from 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 somewhere in the U.S. and and then end up in Jamaica. You know, there, there, there was, a, there was this one case. They even named the gun. I'm not even remembering the name right now, but that gun was making so much rounds in and around Jamaica, committing all sorts of crimes. You know, and it was, it was, it was, it was from, from, it was from US, and nobody, nobody knew, or, or you know, nobody knew and or could give any account of how it ended up in Jamaica. You know, so this is not the first time this has happened. You know, so, and I think that one, I think that one. Well, um, the I think the last time it was used, someone was caught with it, and then they did all this ballistic tests and everything, and they found out that it was making its rounds and it came from the U.S. or something. You know, <laughs> so I don't know. All these guns keep ending up in Jamaica. You know, and um. Somebody must 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 have must must know or can give account for some of these things. So I would love to know, you know, how these kind of things keep, you know, things is allowed to happen. You know, or keep happening. I I would love to get some answers on that. You know, so um I don't know if I can make some checks and find out anything, but I would definitely like to know, and I'm sure a lot of you guys would love to know also, right? So I don't know if there are some hidden conspiracies or something going on and we don't know about 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 it, you know. I don't know, I would love to know. But anyway guys, you know, thanks again for tuning in and please remember to like, share, subscribe if you haven't already done so and hit that notification bell, alright? And guys please comment and let me know what you what you think about, you know, about this particular case. Because I, I think it's really a bizarre case, you know. It's a strange, strange, strange case when it comes to that gun it ended, end, stolen from the police station and end up in Jamaica. And in the hands of a, of a, of a, of a well-known producer, you know what I mean? There are questions that I would like to ask, but I'm not even going to ask those questions, those other questions right here at this point, you know what I mean? So, so guys, thanks again for tuning in and, you know, take care. Blessed love, guys.